my gorgeous sparkly scrumptious kids here welcome to your love tarot reading this is going to be for you and your person boo -boo, whatever that means to you situationship relationship bumble date marriage i already got your spread laid out boo -boo. i'm laughing i'm not laughing at you i'm laughing at myself because this is the fourth time we're doing the video now and we always get to like the first two two minutes and then something goes wrong i got a funny dress on i kept like i keep catching myself on the chair with with the sleeves and then disrobing myself and then and my mic fell off and like like everything has fallen down today i don't know what it is it is what it is maybe your person took some kind of a fall or feels trapped in the situation i think they got themselves trapped in their own traps kind of a thing you know fell into their own traps um so tangled web you know what i'm saying so yeah so we're assuming some kind of a rift or separation between you and your person when we do these readings and uh cancer uh also if you are new to the channel welcome to blue angel love tarot and if you are a returning blue angel thank you i appreciate you i love you i see you baby give me a kiss mm. i'm sorry i'm so discombobulated today see 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 like i'm just <laughs> what is i'd love sleeves like this but it's just like someone did not make this appropriate like you know what it, you know what i mean it's just not t the tailoring is trash because i just catch myself on everything and then it disrobes me because then the button I, it's like a whole thing it's like a whole thing anyway uh, you don't need to know that boo boo <laughs> uh aren't you glad you clicked on this video today if you're new uh anyway by the way i'm cancer uh you're cancer i'm Scar oh my god i do this every time it's like i'm becoming a cancer or something i'm scooby you're cancer we're two little crustaceans of the zodiac so so we feel very deeply and I always feel your readings because, you know, I 100% identify with this energy. Uh, it's almost like cancer. What I see here is you're coming from a, uh, you're coming from a position of um, the higher font, but, you know, in a cancer kind of way. So, you know, there's a lot of stability here and a lot of teaching to be given. I think you have the ability to teach people about love because you understand love, uh, just like Scorpio, just like any water sign does. It's, you know, so many feels with Bill, not enough hours in the day, so many, so many days in the week and so many feels to feel. Um, Bill, I'm really sorry because what I see here, well, number one, I feel like your person is in denial about the ending that happened because there is an ending here. This isn't like one of those like, oh, is it over? Is it? No, it's freaking over. Uh, but I think your person is in denial. I don't think, I think they still think you're going to forgive them. They're hoping against hope. Um, th this is that, you know, falling into their own trap thing or feeling constrained in some kind of a way. There was a betrayal here. Uh, it's very dark energy. There is uh, the five of um, swords and the five of uh, uh, cups. So, so, betrayal and love, betrayal of, of the feels, someone really pierced, pierced your little heart, they, you know, whatever the nature of the betrayal was, um, it's a broken promise, it's cruelty, it's selfishness, it's ego, it's narcissism, all of those things. And it, something really did end profoundly, like lots of little knives in the back here. And this is you, you know, this is what your person did to you. They, they put swords in your back, baby, 10 of them. Uh, done and dusted. This is done and dusted. Uh, this person brought you nothing but disappointment. I do feel like if it's a bimbo himbo from Tinder, anyone between you met on a Tuesday, it is someone who was the type of person who it was a new thing. So like you'd only just started dating, maybe no label yet, but it was like kind of, you know, things were getting like frisky or serious in some kind of a way. And this person was just constantly apologizing because they kept on failing you. This is two fives. Five is destruction and transformation, but in, in the dark, you know, in its darkness, five is is also instability, unreliability. The five is a rolling stone, a rolling little rock that goes, you know, it's like five just keeps rolling and rolling. That, that's what the five looks like. So um, like a little wheel. So yeah, but Bill, this person was like rolling uh, with it. Uh, I think this is the energy of someone who had options open to them. Um, in love, but not just in love. It's like, you know, this person just wasn't truthful. I think they had a lot of lies they wanted to tell you about a bunch of things. And I don't even, I don't see them cheating on you with one person. I don't see them having like one other party here at all. It was just their attitude. Their attitude was, was stinky 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 kind of attitude i think it was like very much out for themselves lone wolf energy uh someone who just wasn't ready for a relationship but they were tempted by you so this is the thing about this person they weren't looking for love maybe they told told you they were but maybe that was like you know the energy that they were putting out there just to like get people to talk to them they were lying they were not looking for a relationship this person could really care about their career be very competitive in their career care about money status things like that i don't think they care that much about emotions or understand emotions and then they met the cancer and they were like 
ah, crustacean, you know, like they just like, they, because you have that healing, beautiful energy of love, they're like, oh my God, I behold the goddess, God, anyone between of love. So yeah, but this bimbo himbo can help themselves. It is in their nature to hurt other people and they hurt you in some way. They promised you things, you know, this is the kind of person who wouldn't text back, would play games, you know. They played some kind of a game with you and it backfired on them too. And you didn't appreciate the energy. You didn't appreciate the games because uh, I feel like you specifically said to this person, look, I don't wanna play any games. I'm tired of games. I've been hurt by games before. I don't wanna repeat that. You know, if you really like me, please don't do that. And then they said, yes, yes, yes. They promised you heaven and earth and then they did exactly what they promised you they wouldn't do they are in denial about this ending though so there was something they said said they wouldn't do and then they did it and that ended the connection but they think they can still uh heal it somehow the star they're like no 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 cancer will forgive me this is someone who apologizes a lot i get this energy very strongly here uh, if it was a more established connection, but boo, this was, you know, a marriage, just the same energy, you know, someone who was just like always out for themselves, out uh, on the kill, let's say, you know, doing their own thing. This is someone who was always apologizing to you. Oh, I'll change. I'll do better. I'll be more engaged. I'll be more emotional, more. I'll remember our anniversary, you know, whatever it was, established connection. But they didn't because there's something wild about this person. There's, there's something wild, predatory even, you know, this is that American psycho kind of vibe i don't think they're like full-on psycho or i don't think they're full-on narcissist but they're like traits there's traits of that someone who really cares about their business situation their money winning out at the expense of other people that's what they're focusing on and they just kept on betraying you this is the kind of spouse that keeps you waiting at a restaurant like you know you make a date they you're waiting at the restaurant like what's going on no phone call no nothing because they forgot about you because they have a board meeting you know they're taking over <laughs> over the world it's that kind of a vibe so you know take it as it resonates with you but it's also someone who played some kind of a game with you and it backfired maybe they bluffed Maybe they were like, well, don't make me leave you, cancer. And you were like, don't let the door hit you on the way out, bit bill. You know what I mean? You got, but look, I mean, they're like, this cannot be over. This cannot, this is what I'm hearing. They're thinking this cannot be over. This cannot really possibly be over. If they believe in God, the goddess, anything in between, anyone in between, they're praying to, to that higher power. They do still see you as their one and only. So that, you know, what they told you, that they loved you, that you're special, you're not like other, the other cancers, other babies, other blue angels, it's true. That's how they feel about you. They, um, they probably told you if it was a new connection that they want to marry you in the future or that your marriage material or you want to have, they want to have something stable with you. That was not a lie either. They meant it in their own way. Knight of Pentacles, their intention is to come at you with an apology, baby, and a gift. Um, <clears throat> their action will be the Seven of Pentacles. So I do feel like someone's, and you got the Six of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck, baby. So Seven of Pentacles is someone coming in for a conversation to have you re reconsider whatever happened here and uh, quite possibly reunite. Um, hmm, hmm. Hmm. And Six of Pentacles is someone begging on their knees to take them back, okay? So they know they know they uh, crossed a line with you. It is emotional betrayal of some kind. You know your story best, Bibu. Uh, these are general readings, so you know take these messages as they resonate. But the, the, the betrayal was strong. It was something you specifically, I feel sad. Don't, please don't do that. Please don't do this to, to me. Or you thought, or, or you like implied it. You know, it was just like kind of in the air, out there in the ether. Please don't do that to me. And they did it. And it could have been a, a prolonged, ongoing, chronic situation of many, many years where this person just kept on doing it and you just got tired of it. Um, oh, big boo. This person loves power, but they're going to kneel before you. And they are coming back around the world for sure. Uh, someone is coming in in the next seven hours, seven days, seven days or seven weeks, they built to make up with you. So it's up to you if you want to take back this person. I mean, is it a douche flute? Yes. Is it? Um, is it a douche flute that can never change? Mm, probably. They usually, usually they never change. But I feel like if ever there was, was a motivated douche flute, I think this one is. I don't think this is a full-on psycho. So, um, I, mean, I mean, you know your psycho best, right? But I think the psycho is like reformable kind of thing, you know? Um, and they do love you very much. I think they're just like so preoccupied right now about this person is so like, and this is not the kind of person who gets anxiety, who worries about things. They're not that kind of a person. But they're, they have such anxiety. You know, when you have so much anxiety, in you over a situation they're like in denial that it's happening 
even like you're like going going like the adrenaline is up but you're like this isn't happening this, this can't be happening I think they're still in that phase right now so it might take them a little bit to come in I feel like it's a week for most of you though so uh, let me know in the comments below if this is your douche flute boo boo also cancer if you vibe with my videos and you enjoy my channel why not subscribe turn on that notification and of course like the video because liking the video really helps me out as a small creator on YouTube I'll see you tomorrow my darling oh and if you'd like to get a personal reading with me all the information is down below uh, but yeah I'll see you tomorrow my boo boo if it's nighttime for you sweet dreams I hope you dream of beautiful things and if it's the morning or afternoon I hope you're having a wonderful day my darling uh, take care of yourself stay sparkly stay gorgeous and may the angels protect you